Welcome back learners and let's look at a few application questions. So for these application questions we are going to take a trip with Busi and Kensani. So Busi and Kensani are going on a trip to England. They have 14,500 rands saved up to spend on this trip. The exchange rate at that time was one pound is to 19 rands 95 cents. So how much in pounds did they budget to spend on their trip? So remember how much they had in rents? 14,500. So now we need to convert that to pounds. So looking at the ratio, which is one pound is to 19 rands and 95 cents. Now remember what ratio is? We are comparing quantities that are the same. So that is the ratio. One pound is to 19 rands, 95 cents. How much did they have in rands? They had 14,500 rands. How do we convert this 14,000 to pounds? This 14,500 rands, sorry, to pounds. We are going to divide by the ratio or Yes, by the ratio that we were given. So we are going to say 14,500 rands and we are going to divide that by 19 rands and 95 cents. You punch that into your calculator, what answer do you get? Well, if you have 726 on your calculator with 82 cents, then it means you are correct. You have now, con oh, sorry, that is not Rands, that will be the pounds. So remember, we are taking the rands to the pounds. When we convert that, it will be 726.82 cents in pounds. Okay. Now, let us describe the proportion of pounds and rands. Let's look at what is happening here. So, we had one pound is to 19 rands and 95 cents. If the pound increases, or rather, let's say, if the rands increase, so from 19 rands and 95 cents, we went up to 14,500 rand. Okay. So from 19 rands and 95 cents, we went up to 14,500 rands. That means that the rands went up. So what happens to the pounds? From one pound to 726 pounds and 82, then it means that the pounds also went up. How do we describe this proportion? Because the one is going up and the other one is going up, this means that they are directly proportional. Okay. Let us move on to the next question. So we are still with Busi and Kensani. Now, Busi and Kensani are on a flight to England. The pilot tells them that they are traveling at 900 kilometers per hour. The whole flight lasted 14 hours. How many kilometers did the plane travel after five hours? So how many kilometers we are looking at the distance? So the whole trip was 14 hours, but now we just want to know how much distance they covered in the five hours. So we are going to write down the formula for distance. Do you remember what the formula for distance is? That is speed multiplied by time. I'm so glad you remember it. So what was the speed that the plane is flying at? 900 kilometers per hour and we want to find out what was the distance covered in the first five hours so 900 multiplied by five will give us 4500 kilometers it means that in five hours our plane has now covered a distance of 4500 kilometers now let's discuss the ratio sorry, the rate of the scenario. Remember, rate, we are comparing two different quantities. So this time we are comparing the time with the distance. 
The time here was five hours, and the distance covered was 4,500 kilometers. Always remember to place your units. So what does that mean for one hour? So in one hour, this plane covered 900 kilometers. So our rate is 900 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Now, Busi and Kensani are on a flight to England. So we are still on the same flight. Now, the pilot tells them that they are traveling at 900 kilometers per hour and the whole flight lasts 14 hours. How far had the plane traveled at the end of the flight? So remember, the whole flight lasted 14 hours. So at the end of the flight, we want to know what was the distance covered in 14 hours. Same, we are going to write down the formula for distance. That is speed multiplied by time. We are still working with the speed of 900 kilometers per hour, and we are multiplying that by 14 hours. So you punch that into your calculator, and what answer do you get? Yes, we are getting a distance of 12,600 kilometers. Did you get the same answer as me? I'm glad that you did. So now let's discuss again the proportion of this scenario. So looking at the proportion, we are going to look at the distance. So remember the first distance that was covered was 4,500 sorry, 4,500 kilometers. But now we have covered a distance of 12,600 kilometers. What happened between the 4,500 kilometers and the 12,600 kilometers. So because our distance has increased, what else increased? Remember initially we were dealing with five hours, now we are dealing with 14 hours. So the time has also increased as well. So an increase in time means an increase in distance because we are still uh, working with the same speed. What does this mean? An increase in distance, an increase in time. This means that they are Directly proportional. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Now, Busi and Kensani decide to go apple picking as one of the activities on their list. Busi picks eight apples per minute and Kensani picks 12 apples per minute. We are now going to compare the same quantity. Do you remember when we were comparing the same quantity, what that is? Okay, let us first write down what is Kensani's rate of picking apples. Let's start with the rate. So we are going to look at Kensani. We are told here that Kensani is 12 apples per minute. We are going to compare apples with time. What is Kensani's rate? Kensani's rate there is 12 apples Per minute, so this is one minute. And then that means that her rate is 12 apples in one minute. Rate, because we are comparing different quantities. So, how many apples will Busi pick in nine minutes? So let, let's look at Busi's rate first. So Busi's rate was eight apples in one minute. So now if we want to find out nine minutes, that we are going to multiply by nine for the minutes. And what we do on one side, we have to go and do on the other side. We are going to multiply by nine on that side as well. So nine minutes will give us, what is nine times eight? Yes, you are correct, it is 72 apples. So this means that in nine minutes, Busi will pick 72 apples. Let's go to an ad break and then we'll see you just now.